This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The city of Lansing launched its rebranding campaign, which is costing the city $41,000. Part of the campaign includes a new logo. The logo shows an L and the smokestacks in Rio Town. It has people in Lansing wondering, was the $41,000 money well spent? Corey Staley, a Lansing resident, stated, I could have done it on my computer myself for free. I'll take $500 instead of $40,000 if you want me to do it the next time. People in Lansing were split when the new logo debuted on February 7th. Mayor Andy Shore told Fox 47 News that it signifies progress in a new beginning and said that it was ex- there was significant excitement in the community over the rebranding. Not everyone sounded excited when they heard how much it cost. New information on the police chase of a stolen police car on February 20th. Fox 47 News has obtained the report from the Bath Township officer who joined the the search last week. Bath Township officer Trenton Bailey answered the call for help when one of the men suspected of stealing a TV from the DeWitt Meyer bailed out of the getaway car. His dashboard camera was rolling when he found that the suspect crouched next to an occupied DeWitt City police cruiser. Officer Bailey's report obtained by Fox 47 News says he tried to get the suspect, Timothy Vanus, to move to the back of the cruiser and away from the loaded gun inside. He says Vanus appeared to be on drugs. He was sweaty and acting erratically. That sweat made it impossible for Bailey to get a good grip when Vanus tried to get into the driver's seat. After a brief struggle in which punches were exchanged, Vanis hit the gas. Jeff Bontrager, Northwest School Superintendent, says that a teacher shortage is very accurate. A teacher shortage is well on its way to becoming a crisis here in Michigan. Governor Gretchen Whitmer brought it up in her State of the State address. The Northwest School District and other school districts are having a harder time finding qualified teachers and seeing fewer and fewer people applying to open jobs in the last five years. With marijuana now legal both recreationally and medically in Michigan, there is a lot of uncertainty about how businesses should manage medical use among their employees. The Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce hosted a program on Thursday to help educate and guide businesses through the maze of possibilities when workers use marijuana. Learn more about all of these and all of MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.